an app to have a window always on top, an app to get quick actions on selected text, an app to customize all of Windows, an app that fixes everything that you dislike about Windows 11. Yeah, it's been some time since we talked about the must-have apps on Windows, so let's do that today. Now, before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Video Candy, our sponsors for this video. Video Candy is an online video editor that's super useful if you want to do some quick edits to your videos. First of all, it has a fast, minimal website with no ads, and I like the tools it has. You can trim videos, merge, crop them, add music to them, compress them, convert videos to GIFs, and do a lot more. The great thing is Video Candy is free to use with no watermarks, and it can process videos that are up to 2 GB, so check it out from the link below. So starting off, who doesn't like toys? I mean, I do, and I'm sure you do too. But let's get serious. So does your Windows laptop. And that's where I'm sure you've heard about Microsoft Power Toys. But what you haven't heard about is that Microsoft Power Toys recently got a bunch of new tools. First is Always On Top, which is where I like to be. I mean, in the whole world, in the workplace, you know. Anyway, Always On Top is simple. It lets you pin a window to the top. For example, I have the calculator app open and I can just use the shortcut Windows plus Control plus T. And you can see this window get highlighted. And there's also a sound to tell you that a window has been pinned. Now, no matter what I open, the calculator window will always be on top. Second, Power Toys Run, which is a spotlight-like search feature on Windows, now lets you do a web search like this. There's also a video conference mute tool, which is super handy because you can quickly use these shortcuts to mute the camera or the mic or both. Next up is Panther Bar. Cool name, right? I mean, I love the name Panther Bar. Also love the icon. And this app is basically the context menu on steroids. So generally, when you select some text, you right click on it and you get these options. There are two things wrong with this. First, you have to right click. Second, just these options. With Panther Bar, you select a text and this menu automatically pops up really quickly. And here you have all these useful options. No copy cut paste is usual, but you can also translate a text really quickly. You can search for it on Amazon, create a new note in Notepad and so much more. Plus there are a ton of extensions to do a lot more. Now there's one thing that Panther Bar cannot do and that is subscribing to a YouTube channel which is why you should do it yourself. Just go down below, subscribe, hit the bell icon because you know we love it. Now what everybody hates though is the Windows 11 start menu. Probably due to the lack of customizations, the whole recommended section that doesn't leave you in peace. And in this pinned section, I don't remember pinning these apps. I mean who pins McEffy in the start menu? The point is, if you are annoyed too, Start 11 is the app for you. First of all, this fixes the Windows 11 Start menu. The biggest feature for me is that with this, I can go to all apps and then go back by just swiping on the touchpad. No need to use the tiny back button. It also lets you customize the Start menu. For example, you can have the Start menu show up all programs. You can hide folders from the recent documents. You can create a shortcut of any folder that you want. Now, it's not just this. Start 11 lets you go back to the whole Windows 10 style start menu, the Windows 7 style start menu, and even customize them completely. Now, this is a paid app with a free trial, so yeah, it's definitely worth a shot. Moving on, Windows has a notepad. You already know about that, but what's better than a notepad? Notepads, plural. Sorry, I mean, sorry. Notepads is a lot like notepad, keeping things simple, but it's also more feature packed. First of all, it has tab support, so you can have multiple notes open like this and switch between them easily. The app also has support for smart copy, which automatically trims empty lines, spaces, etc. But what's actually super useful is Session Snapshot, which basically ensures you don't lose any data, even if you accidentally close the app or Windows. I mean, it's Windows, so, you know, it can happen. Now, there are a lot more features, but I also like the fact that there's Markdown support along with Live Preview, which is pretty handy. Windows 11 is all about the curves, but the Windows 11 taskbar is just straight lines all across. The good news is Rounded TB is an app that makes the Windows 11 taskbar all curvy, just the way I like it. You can set the corner radius and the margin and click apply and this is how the taskbar looks. Now this is fine but I like the dynamic mode more which brings a Mac dock-like experience to the Windows taskbar. It looks like this and it adapts according to the number of apps you have opened. If you want, you can even hide the system tray for a more cleaner look. See, a lot of people have problems with Windows 11, be it the new File Explorer UI, not being able to change the taskbar position, the background apps being annoying, and even the new context menu. Win Aero Tweaker fixes all of that and a lot, 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 lot more. I mean, look at all these options, man. I dare you to use all of them. I dare you, I double dare you. So this is not a new app, but like I said, it fixes the Windows 11 issues. You can get the classic context menus, disable background apps, Enable the Ribbon UI in File Explorer, change the taskbar size and position, 
Yeah, there are a lot more options. And once again, I dare you. Dare you? I double dare you. Microsoft, me, Microsoft had to screw up a lot of things before pushing out a final stable version of Windows 11. And one of those things is no drag and drop files in the taskbar, which is super annoying if, say, you are editing a photo. And interestingly, the app to fix the Windows 11 drag and drop to taskbar is called the Windows 11 drag and drop to taskbar fix. Okay. Now, whether you find this useful or not, you gotta admit that name is on point. Anyway, you need to set up Windows 11 drag and drop taskbar fix. And once you've done that, you'll be able to, well, you know, drag and drop to the taskbar. And jokes apart, this is actually useful. And you know what, if you have any such more useful app that will make our life, everyone's life on Windows 11 a whole lot easier, I'd love to know about this app. So make sure to comment below. Yeah, do not forget to comment down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. The car gadget you really need. This is the Motorola MA1 and it can convert your wired Android Auto to wireless Android. Good stuff. Every time you start your car, Android Auto will connect by the